One of the biggest blockers to writing effectively is having to stop to find that citation. We spend ages writing, but we spend even longer trying to find a citation that can back up that sentence. We spent nearly three hours trying to write. Well, that all sounds familiar, doesn't it? That's why I partnered with Sourcely, which is the AI tool I want to talk to you about in this video and how it can literally save you hours and hours of time with just a click of a button. So firstly, Sourcely is an AI academic writing tool that is designed specifically to help find the sources for you within the text that you might write or copy and paste. Don't worry, I'm going to show you all of that in this video. And it's actually designed by the same founder of one of the other AI writing tools a lot of you really like, which is Yomu AI. So if you like that tool, you're going to love this tool because packed with so much functionality, its central goal is to save you hours of time trying to find those citations for you because you just copy the text, click a button and then find dedicated sources just like that. So I think it's time I'll show you how it actually works. So firstly, we need to log in. If you've got a Google ID, go straight in or you can just type an email address naturally. I've already got one set up, so it's going to log me straight in to Sourcely. This is the window that you can see. So, to give you an idea, let's start off with a new document. I'm just going to think of something off the top of my head. So, I've been looking into asthma at the moment. So, let me talk about magnesium as a nutritional intervention for patients with mild asthma. It is known to be used in conjunction with steroids both inhaled and oral it is not a current clinical medication but might warrant further investigation so this is live so you can see exactly what i'm going to be doing so that's just a statement you can write a bit more you can copy the text from your other word document if you wanted to and i'm just gonna click find sources plus it like I said in an earlier video, just click one button, find sources. And it's going to look at what I've written and give me citation worthy text highlights, as you can see on the screen. And with this pro membership, what you can see is that it'll tell you exactly where in the text you can actually have the citation that it is found for you. Like you can see right here, got a citation for this, got a citation for this. So it's got so many different papers that it's found to help me back up the sentence that I've just written for you live in this video. So I can look into this mag magnesium as a nutritional intervention for patients with mild asthma. So that's from that sentence, it's found these papers. And then if I look at the next sentence, it's found these papers. You see what I mean with kind of the pro membership? It can give you a lot of this in real time. It didn't take me very long to find these in terms of sourcing, got it for me. All I did was click a button so let's go through with some of the features that sourcing has now that you've seen me write a piece of text need to find some sources which is what we struggle on and then actually it doing it for me and giving me sources dedicated to a particular sentence so if i wanted to okay this paper looks quite interesting it gives me some news from the authors the journal the, the date it was you know released and how many people cited it which is a good reference metric to look at in terms of scanning so let me just now look at a summary as it gives you an indication that it does take a few seconds which is fine considering it's looking at the entire paper for you so you don't have to click on it find maybe the results section which is what you want to look at and whilst i've been talking it gives me enough indication so okay double applying placebo interesting i can look at a bit of the results okay the treatment produced significant improvements in short-term pulmonary function interesting okay super Again, so remember you're trying to find citations and within finding citations, you can look at the summary of the paper in real time. What I really like as well as one of the features is you can save it within the built-in library within Sourcely. So once you log in, you copy a piece of text from your thesis or your paper, or you're writing something and you want to see what evidence can I find. You can then actually save, I like this paper, you can save it. And then over here, you can see this little library button. Click on here, it'll have those papers that you've saved so you can come back to and reference it, which is really interesting because you might be interested in, oh, what else does that paper have that I looked at? It's now in your Sourcely library. Super easy. I've always loved the aesthetics of, of Sourcely and Yomu AI, which is another one we can talk about um, towards the end of the video. So it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. It's super fast. 
it's got so many features that I haven't even touched in yet. So it's on to a great win, I think. But let's go into a little bit more. Going back then to, to this, you can view the source if you wanted to. So where in the internet did you find it? Click on it, it'll pull up the paper, nice and easy. So one other thing is that we all love PDF. Don't deny, I know you if you're watching, you like PDF, so do I. Because as soon as you see the word PDF, we get happy because it's a much more reader friendly version of a paper. Download it into our folders. 90% of the time we don't look at it, but we do need to use it when it comes to citations. So within the same infrastructure, the same window that you're looking at, without having going to another window and click another button, within the same frame as you looked at the summary, you can now click on the PDF, as you can see now. Looking at this paper, hmm, let me have a look at, is it meta-analysis? Let me have a look at the paper. PDF, here we go. I can look into it, zoom it straight away. And this is all from what? I added the text, I clicked one button to find sources, I scrolled down. So within three buttons of you typing in a piece of text, it has not only given you suitable citations, but now you can look at the PDF. I mentioned earlier the summary, you can view the source in real time, you can save it to your own library. And the reason why I really, really like this tool and I wanted to share this with you is that it is the ease and the speed, the two things, the ease and then the speed in which you're able to find accurate citations for the for the text that you're trying to look at or the papers that you're trying to put together, copy the text like I said, or type in a piece of text, and that quickly you can get dedicated citations. So when I looked at it and said, oh, seven hours, I was a bit skeptical, but having used it, I can guarantee you, and I can see that you will save your hours trying to find stuff because it's all there within a few, two or three buttons max. So we looked at the summary, we looked at its ability to view the source, save, in their own library, which is pretty cool. And then obviously I mentioned in terms of the PDF functionality. Now, one good thing about Sourcey, it's not designed to try and reinvent anything. It's trying to be there as a super useful, dedicated tool to help you find citations. And you can use the functionality to bring it back into your own um, editing platform for, for your thesis, for your paper, whether it's Word or Latex, wherever it might be, whether it's Yomi. So if all those features are not enough in terms of summary, view source, saving in his own library, which I really like, and then the ability to just click on the PDF and view it in a readable format. You can obviously, which is the most important thing of this, is get the citation for that paper to back up what you're going to say. So whether you're using Word, Latex, Yomu even, you can then export that citation, as you can see now on the screen. Click export for that paper that you're interested in, and it'll give you the different versions or the different style of citations. Click on that copy button, again, it's that UI, it's that functionality. Click on that and then copy it to where you need to go. So as you can see, it's not just some tool slapped with the name of AI to make you think it's useful. It is the ease and the speed of, as I demonstrated there live, of you having the ability to solve a problem that we all have. We all struggle to find the right citation, trying to find the right paper, and does it match? Does it actually defend what we're going to say? It kind of does that for you in very, one again, very quickly. And then the functionality is what I've also been really impressed with. The ability that you have to go through many hurdles, click many buttons, scroll down. The way they've designed the entire infrastructure for you to look at it, all of those functionalities are across one line. If you need to export it straight away, you need to view a quick summary. If you just want to look at many papers and save into your library, you can all do that without even moving on your screen. And I know this sounds a little bit pedantic, but when we are researchers, we don't have much time. We want something that's easier to use, does what we need it to do and doesn't mess around. This doesn't mess around. This is spot on in terms of its ability to find citations, which is what it is designed to do. So if you think Sourcely is something that you think you're going to use, I think so too. I'm starting to use it already for the papers that I'm trying to write right now. I would urge you to test it out at the very least. You've seen me use it. You've seen how easy it is to use, but then essentially how useful it can be. So I've got some discount codes you can see on the screen right now. They've got four different kind of payment plans and subscriptions. If you want the monthly on, you can use AMA20 to save you 20% off that, as well as the trial period. As you can see at the start, just pay $7 and then you can use it once to test out. And then there's AMA40, so 40% off either you will believe us, so you can pay it once, full access, or your yearly subscription. So hopefully those codes can help you save a little bit of money off your subscription with Sourcely. So I just want to end on noting and highlighting that this is genuinely a massive problem across research, across academia, where we spend a lot of time trying to back up what we're trying to say when what we're trying to say is takes a lot of time. 
So having a dedicated tool that's really easy to use is a bit of a game changer in my opinion because I've seen myself now, if I'm thinking of just a statement, copy the statement and then see if you can find sources dedicated to what I'm trying to say. And you saw the UI, you saw its functionality, you saw how easy it is to use. I do urge that I think it's going to be a big shift in, in academia itself having a tool like this. And I'm trying to spread the word through this video and hopefully let me know in the comments to be fair actually if you think you're going to use this tool. If you have, let me know what you think about it because I think a lot of researchers around the world should be using this on kind of like a day-to-day -day basis in conjunction with their writing tool. Now I mentioned the writing tool which is from the same founder which I really enjoyed and I made two videos you can see on the screen right now. So I urge you to check those out if you haven't because I actually wrote a whole short communication paper via using Join Me here. and if you want to learn how it actually works there's that video here. This has been super fun to share with you because I genuinely believe and behind the founder behind the mission that they have which is why I wanted to partner with them to share this video. So let me know what you think. Speak to you soon. Take care.